flock. Think you've seen it all, huh? Think you know all there is to know about Vault Hunters, Bandits, Corporations, and nobody loser types? Well, you don't know Skag Diddly. Take Promethea, for example. A civilized place, as far as planetary-sized piles of excrement go. A planet still recovering from its war with the Malawan Corporation. The rival Atlas Corporation is in bad shape. Reese Strongfork, the big shot CEO with the regrettable mustache, is scrambling. He's on the cusp of something big. But he's not the only one. And into this pressure cooker steps... Dr. Anuradha Dar, genius inventor, socially awkward, uh, do-gooder type. She works for Atlas, been tinkering with a big, award-winning idea. Her brother, Octavio Wallace Dar, Meridian City's most well-known man, at least in his own mind. He's convinced his big break is just around the corner. And Fran Miskowitz, purveyor of Reese Strongfork's favorite Froger flavor. She's hoping for a big insurance payout after that regrettable Malawan laser incident. So, you're probably asking yourself, what makes these three so special? And the answer is nothing. Yet. You're free now. Go. Be free. Run. Run. Morning. What? Oh, I mean, good morning. Seriously. Again? Yep. Another busy day. Work, work, work. Am I right? By channeling the Iridium's energy through a multiphasic refraction lens, I can reproduce the, as yet, inexplicable powers of the Sirens. Maybe not the wings thing, which is so cool, but uh, crucially, the ability to manipulate an object safely through space-time. I'm Anu, the ultimate Siren fangirl, but for totally scientific reasons, I swear, and I'm so close to replicating the signature move of my all-time favorite Siren, Lilith. R.I.P. Pong. <laughs> I was saying, in addition to forever altering the nature of conflict vis-a-vis -vis offering a non-lethal resolution, my device could also change the world.
for the better. Imagine, a way for people to solve their problems without killing each other. I literally can't. I just have to figure out how to actually bring back the objects I faced away. And also, where they go. And also, what happens to them? Simple. Interdepartmental demonstration scheduled for two weeks from today. Dr. Anuradha Dar, signing off. Oh, snap. Two weeks? Really? It's going to be ready by then? You always seem so hesitant to put a timeline on this bad boy, so you know, two weeks. Wow. Yeah, I'm sort of hoping setting the goal will force me to meet the goal, you know? Oh yeah, that's definitely how that works, so. All I've got to do is just figure out the next step. That's it. There's got to be something I'm missing. Figure it out with, like, your intuition or with your tech goggles? I would like to think both. Maybe start with the tech goggles, though. There's a button? On the side? Okay, goggles. Let's try a diagnostic. So, for starters, I should probably put an actual power source in there, huh? You needed the goggles for that. Now, where did I put that iridium ore? Would a clearer headed Anu have stored the iridium in here before calling it tonight? Hiding the key component to your life's work from yourself? <laughs> you are one eccentric scientist. And would a clearer headed Anu remember the code to her safe for once? Better grab some money for lunch while I've got this bad boy unlocked. Did you say lunch? You buying? I thought a Jabamin translator was a good idea. It worked, sure, but it turns out all they want to do is fornicate and fling feces. What a waste of time. at all times, but that's just me. I don't know why I ever thought a Jabamin translator was a good idea. It worked, sure, but it turns out all they want to do is fornicate and fling feces. What a waste of time.
Do you happen to have the Iridium Ore in your pocket? What? No, of course not. Why would I keep Iridium in my pocket? Your pocket just seems full. <laughs> oh, don't get cheeky with me, boss. Not unless you mean it. What? No! You know, being absent-minded, messy, and disorganized... In the toolbox, maybe? My trusty tools. So much potential for science in these simple implements. And what's that? Oh, Anu, really? incredibly expensive ore inside the toolbox again, didn't you? Uh, maybe. <laughs> yep. yep. <sighs> I love that hum. It's like it's singing. Like a siren song? Like the sweet sound of success. Not financial, though I could really use the money to get my brother off Promethea. But ethical success. Where we use innovation and technology to help people and protect life, not casually destroy it as a matter, of course. Like, like, don't oh, you know? I know, like profit-focused warmongers with no moral compass beyond the almighty dollar. Exactly. A.K.A. Atlas's motto. No cruelty, no killing, no compromise. You're a revolutionary, boss. Ooh, who are we rising up against? <laughs> Not that kind of revolutionary, Timmy. Don't worry. I won't. Revolutions typically generate a 30% increase in market share. Good for business! In fact, the only thing better for business than revolutions are the vicious campaigns of suppression by the ruling elite that inexorably follow! Don't you think we should maybe... I don't know... not root for people who resort to violence and total upheaval as a means to an end? Upheaval is integral to progress, and violence begets violence, which, as I mentioned, is great for business! Right. Anyway, are you here for something in particular, Timmy? Yes, please! I'm here on behalf of Mr. Strongfork! To inquire why our company's test subjects are somehow... ...liberated. I'm sorry, test subjects? The Jabbers. Liberated. Correct. Your comprehension level is impeccable. You should have no trouble explaining why the Jabbers are loose. Again. They're currently running amok down the laboratory hallways. The janitorial staff is prepping for what I like to call... Go Jabber Grabber Talk! All right, it was me. You caught me. I did it. I let the Jabbers go. Yes, we know. I apologize if my tone was misleadingly chipper instead of appropriately accusatory. Wait, what? If it's any consolation, the footage from this instant was captured at a much more flattering angle than the footage of you releasing the Jabbers those other times. Don't they deserve to be free? Oh, I'm not authorized to dispense ethical judgments about Atlas policies. Well, now that we've got that straightened out... Ah, Dr. Dar, you have an update to your calendar incoming. It's an appointment with Mr. Strongfork. Oh, uh, I can check my schedule to see... The appointment is now. Oh, and, uh, what is it regarding? It's a reprimand session for Mr. Strongfork to reprimand you. Oh. Wait, better not go empty-handed? Good luck.
up, Octavio? Oh, Nedster! School's out already? Hey, Papa Girardi! I can smell your space calzones from here! Ah, thanks! I, I need a new name for them! Might also need to stop doing that problematic accent! Yeah, I, I know. Miss Johnson, did you get a cybernetic leg? That thing's straight fire. Jesse, how's it hanging, dude? Oh, you know, Octavio, it's a brand new day filled with endless possibilities and excitement. Sounds like it. New Agorex, who it is? <laughs> Another new device? Come on, Octavio. It's Ray Don. But listen, I'm almost done with this demolition job. <laughs> Wanna head to Paco's for tacos? Ooh, do they come in my favorite flavor? Please don't say... Free! <laughs> you such a mooch! I'll see you there. Octavia. God, jeez! I anticipated your arrival and have been waiting in a location that would not obstruct others. No, no, I, I wasn't scared. <laughs> like, at all. <laughs> Your biometrics appear otherwise. Your voice resembles a nine-year-old girl's. Nine-year... <clears throat> nine-year-old girls are the future, so thank you. I acquired the publication you requested. You appear stunned. Did you doubt my ability to purchase this periodical? Or do you fear its contents? Yeah, sorry. This issue always makes me a little nervous. Come on, come on, come on! Your biometrics read extreme disappointment. It's Forge's super successful Dirty 30. It lists the planet's most promising, innovative entrepreneurs, and I'm not on it, again. Have you accomplished some extraordinary business transaction to warrant your acknowledgement on this list? I survived Malawan's invasion. And I like to think that my social influence has kept the city together after the war left it in damn near ruins. No would have been a more succinct answer. Look, I'm working on it. Why? This list is merely the opinion of other humans. You should not value it. As a machine, I find this accolade pointless to strive for. Getting on Forge's super successful Dirty 30 is a lifelong dream. It's irrefutable proof to the rest of the world that Octavio Wallace Dar exists. That I'm a somebody. I know you're somebody. Yeah, but you're an assassination bot, which makes it weird. Perhaps you were disappointed, but look on the bright side. Many of these celebrated humans have contracts on their heads. Bivington Bradwick, for example, has numerous bounties on his life, but no assassination bot can kill him. He is rich and important enough that he never has to leave his home or do anything for himself. You, however, are not on this list. You're anonymous, unrecognized, a nobody. This is beneficial for your survival. But not beneficial for my image. I mean, all the best business people have probably at least killed someone to succeed. Something to warn a bounty, anyway. I'm doing whatever it takes to maintain appearances. Come on, if there was a list of all the best assassination bots, wouldn't you want to be on it? No. I pour my heart and soul, confide my lifelong ambition to be on this list, and you act all superior robot on me. But I am a superior robot. I have killed 963 people. You have killed no one. Don't diminish my potential. It's not that I couldn't kill. I could, if that's what it took. Despite your erratic behavior today, I am in need of your assistance. 
Sorry, I'm busy networking, innovating, shaking hands. After Malawan killed nearly half the merchants in the city, we've all needed to make new contacts. This would be an actual job, with money. Your various business concepts like financing, marketing, public appeal. Kidding! <laughs> I'm not busy. Totally pranked you. <laughs> you just got octavio Interesting phrasing. Perhaps I'll adopt that. Uh, well, that's kind of my thing, but... Now, on to business matters. You will aid me, as you have before, in confirming the names of my targets before I shoot two ion slugs into their brain. You know how to talk. You have a mouth. You will prove exceptional. Hell yeah. I love helping you with your work. Plus, I love money. We all love money. Whatever it takes to get my business off the ground. Do you actually have an idea for your business? Tons! A few. I'm working on it! Kissing rat ass. Congratulations, Francine Miskowitz. It has been 90 days since your last uncontrolled outburst of rage. All right, all right. Let's make it to 91. Day door. And that wasn't rage, sponsor bot. It was thinking outside the box. A lot of anger outside your box. Let's get to work. Take pride in your ability to maintain a positive attitude, even though a Malawan space laser decimated your Froger shop and subsequently reduced its Echo Net Yowl rating by 3.5 stars. Thank you, Sponsorbot. Your Yowl rating is now negative 3.5 stars. Thank you, Sponsorbot. As soon as the insurance money comes in, this place will look good as new. Warning, do not think about your malfunctioning TDR appliances, for which you still owe the TDR Corporation 600,000 galactic credits. Do not think about the fact that these machines are also licensed from Teteor and thus cannot be sold. I said do not think about it. Everything is going to be just fine. My new slaughter matic combat vegetable knife slices artichokes as easily as arteries. <clears throat> We're not open yet. And... Lore. How's business treating you, handsome? Bad. If there's two things you can count on Prometheans buying, it's bullets and brew. Place looks as charming as ever. I thought the insurance money was supposed to come through by now. Claims guys coming by today, they've been jerking me around, saying I have to pass some sort of final interview to get my cash. How dare they not trust a kind old lady like you? Want me to shoot them? It's been a while since I shot anyone. A week, at least. Still, I'm a steady trigger, so long as I've got some caffeine in me. How could they deny my claim? Look at this place. I'm sure you're right. 
All insurance workers are compassionate, honorable people. Well, the claims fella gives me any lip. He'll find out how persuasive I can be. What a disturbing euphemism. Thanks for this, by the by. Samesies. Uh-oh. Looks like the morning rush has arrived. I'm outie. All right, all right, all right. Time to make the Frogerts. Good morning. Welcome to Franz Frogerts. What can I get you today, hon? Uh, a large peanutty buddy with sprinkles. Here you go, sweetheart. Whoa, this looks incredible, Fran. I know, babe. Here you go. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to Mr. Strongford's office. Please make yourself comfortable while I inform him of your presence. Apologize for the jobbers. Won't happen again, sir. You cannot lose this job. My idea is a paradigm shift. One that could help Atlas beat the competition. Yeah, that sounds great. Convincing. Job saving. Right? Dr. Dar? Strong fork. Uh, is everything all right? Because I can come back if. No, no, no. Everything's fine. It's fine. I just got outbid again on an ultra rare zero volt lander's figurine. Again. It's an investment. You know. You know. You know what? Forget it. No, no, never mind. Just, just come on in. Have a seat. Thanks for coming up on such short notice, but I figured I ought to just set a meeting as quickly as possible so we could touch base on the issue of you keep releasing jabbers on the ship! Again! You've got to stop doing that. And also, we're in space. We're all contained animals up here, Dr. Dar. Honestly, sir, I think this has all just been one big misunderstanding. Oh, yeah? Crazy. <laughs> Let's just get this all sorted out then. So silly of me. <laughs> Yikes. Did you not release a lab full of jabbers? Again? No. Yeah, yeah, I, I did. Yeah, you did. You cost me a fortune. Do you have any idea? Any? 
I have guys in R&D working on cold fusion powered giant robots who spend less money than you've wasted on freeing animals from their cages. And Iridium ore. Oh my god, the Iridium ore. If I'd seen any evidence at all, a shred of it, that you had been using that Iridium ore to make something that, you know, we could sell or patent or eat, I wouldn't care, but... Now that... It's a pretty interesting little gun there, huh? Look at it all gun-shaped. This is no gun, Mr. Strongfork. This is my device. Okay. This device. Gun. This device is going to achieve something no one ever has. Something no one has come close to. Replicating the powers of a siren with the pull of a trigger. Now that's a pitch. Keep going, keep going. I'm serious. This is exciting. The Cold Fusion Robot guys, they give a fun presentation, but it's always, you know, a little, a little much. This is the most powerful man-made creation in the world. You need this, and you need me. Ooh, assertive. That's good. It's wrong, but it's good. Sorry? Anything you develop on Atlas property with Atlas money belongs to Atlas, so I don't technically need you to have that. But like I said, the, you know, the raw energy, that's great. Right. Okay. Decent pitch. I give it a C minus. Enough to not get you fired. Yet. So, I'm gonna need a demonstration to see what this adorable little game changer of yours can do. Absolutely, sir. If you have space in your schedule in two weeks' time. No? I meant now. There's no time like the present, right? So, present! But I haven't. It hasn't. It's in progress, and. It doesn't do anything, does it? No, no, it, it does. Just let me explain. Oh, by all means. And by all means, I mean this had better be really, really good or you're fired. It eliminates any tangible subject from the field. Eliminates? Well, more like it displaces them to another location. Alive? Yes! Exactly. Alive, but also eliminated. The best of all outcomes. So, to clarify, you have spent all the money and resources at your disposal that I gave you, from my disposal, to build a gun that does not kill people? I've built a device. Gun. Device that doesn't kill. It just sends people on a little vacation. A vacation to death? No, just a vacation. They literally vacate. Our customers don't want to send people on vacation. They want to send them to death. Okay, okay. <laughs> you know what? Show me. Show me or put it on the desk and leave my office. Okay. I, uh, I think you're really going to like this, sir. <sighs> I am waiting to be deeply... Deeply impressed here. I mean, floored, really, at this point, and I... <laughs> I've seen some shits. Oh, my God. Oh, my God! Right? That wasn't the blast, dummy! It was my... It was on display! I can't... Oh, oh my God. Oh. oh. Okay, okay, okay. Impressive. It's very impressive. Now, you know, reverse phase. <laughs> Unzap. De-eliminate. Bring it back. There's no reverse switch, sir. It only does the one thing. So far. It's a prototype. Well, where the hell did it send my stuff? I, uh, do not know. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just... Gone? Gone forever. Like so many fabric scraps in the wind. Coasting through the ether. I'll never see that tie again. I can get you some electrical things, sir. It won't be the same. Ah! Mr. Strongfork! CEO of the Atlas Company. I am your assistant. Uh, yeah, Timmy, I know. Then now... It's my time to shine! Let me assist you! Wait, 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 Timmy, what? I will go on a quest to retrieve what you have lost, uh? Rescue mission!
You would do that? For me? Of course I would. Mr. Strongford! CEO of the Atlas Company. Doing anything and everything for you is literally the purpose of my existence. Yikes. Yeah, well, that's a fair point, actually. All right. Dr. Dar, let's try this again. On Timmy. Timmy? Timmy! If he doesn't come back, you'll be hearing from me. Specifically, the sound of my tears. He'll definitely come back. I think. Someday. Can I just say, for a gun? Device. That's designed to be non-lethal? That thing is really doing some damage. Thank you? Not a compliment. You can't control it. You barely know what it does, except that it doesn't kill things, which makes it useless. It isn't designed to kill. Not everything needs to harm people. I feel harmed. I feel very personally harmed. Just not in a way that's profitable. Oh my god, why? Oh, Timmy, where are you when I need you most? <sighs> You've reached Reese Strongfork, the CEO of Atlas Corporation. Well, well. If it isn't Reese Strongfork. <laughs> Susan Coldwell, CEO of TDR. Why? Why are you calling me? You know what? Can you hold on for just a sec? Dr. Dar, you may go. And if it wasn't clear already, uh, you're fired. But, sir... <laughs> Susan, how'd they hang in? <laughs> Perky as ever, Reese. And you? Eyes and limbs all accounted for? Oh, yep. All good over here. Doing just great. Better than. Was there, uh, something you needed? You know the drill. I can't kill my targets until they say their full name out loud and I am able to confirm its match against the name in the database. That's where you come in. So you must get my target to say their full name out loud. But... killing is wrong. Killing is wrong. That's what you sound like. What did they do, whoever you're about to kill? A man named Jamison Harwin kicked his neighbor's pet scat pup. So the neighbor contracted me to punish him. And? Skags are awful. No, this one was cool. Psst, I doubt a skag. It learned how to ride a skateboard. You show me that skag kicking piece of trash right now! Do you have any further questions before we begin the operation? It shouldn't take long. Just curious. Do you like your job? No. Then why don't you do something else? I am not capable of such a thing. Mm, tough economy, can't go back to school. It is beyond my programming. Woof. Capitalism. Jamison Harwin lives in that apartment complex. You will use the buzzer for apartment three to get him to come outside. I will be waiting nearby, with death. All right, let's get this gag kicking piece of crap. Pizza here for apartment three? What? I didn't order any pizza. No offense, but are you by any chance drunk, sir? W well, yeah. How the hell's that relevant? Drunk folk order pizza, then forget about it. Happens all the time. 
Think of me as a present from your past self. All right. I'll be down. Just give me a sec. Well, I must admit, your methods are strange. It seems to have worked. Now you must get him to say his full name before I can fulfill the contract. No problem. Give it here, kid. What gives? I come all the way down here and you don't even got it? You better not be messing with me, boy. I got a hell of a temper. Oh, dang. I forgot it in the car. I knew I was forgetting something. Uh, but before I go, can you confirm your full name for me? Yeah, it's Jameson Harwin. Now get moving! <laughs> You just got L0U13. Did I do it right? Nailed it. That's what you get, Scat Kicker! Well done. I have received payment. Here is your commission, friend Octavio. Ooh, cash money. Make it rain! I'm meeting the crew Paco's. You in? I am indeed in. Though I still cannot fathom how you can eat food from a man who lives in the sewers and befriends Ratch. I use a lot of hot sauce? And that's how Papa Girardi makes a space calzone. Fascinating. I have an additional inquiry. You mentioned your past proclivity for stealing. As you know, many of my contracts have been for idiot petty thieves, such as yourself. Now, your sister. Anu. Your sister Anu disapproves of this proclivity and wishes for you to stop stealing. Are you heeding her counsel? It is a dangerous hobby, Larceny. I'm trying. I listen to my sister. The two of us, Anu is the... Smart, responsible one. Yeah. How did you know? Because you were certainly the impulsive, irresponsible one. And you have wonderful people skills. Oh, Octavio. Hi. Louis? Let me introduce you to Diamond Danielle. A real thief and definitely not an idiot. Hmm. That's one way to introduce a friend. Sure. Greetings. Diamond Danielle must be a moniker. Since it obscures your real name, I have a 0% probability of killing you. Are you flirting with me, robot? No. Real charmer. He's working on his people skills. I am not. We're on our way to Paco's to meet up with Radon. Wanna come? Tacos? I'm there. You are not. We must ambulate there. Ignore him. How many times do I have to tell you to sweep behind the counter, Octavio? Killing me. You want to help me? You'll give me what I asked for, and you know damn well what that is. Henry? Hank! What brings you around these parts? Same as always. You owe me for protection, and my price ain't budging. You know, usually a protection shakedown involves actually protecting a place. Didn't see you anywhere when Malawan was blasting holes in my store. Don't blame me for the whims of our corporate overlords. There's only one thing I want, and it's time to pay up. <sighs> I'm sorry, but there's no way I can give you a lifetime of free Froger Hank. Not at the rate you eat it. Why? Huh? Do it! Hey, do it, or I'm gonna kill you! That's how it's gonna be? I tried to be patient, 
but you feed me enough frozen yogurt to keep me on a 24-7 sugar high, or I feed you the tip of this pick. Mm. I'm through asking. You're gonna give me what I want, or we're gonna have a dozen flavors worth a problem. You keep threatening me, and you're not gonna like where this conversation ends up. Mmm, sounds like somebody fell off the anger wagon. 90 days clean. You play your cards right, and we both might live to see 91! No, maybe... Maybe I just kill you and take this place over for myself. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. And frankly, what'd be the difference? Huh, whether it be an ice pick to the eye or slowly wasting away in debt to the TDR Corporation, you are dead. Either way. Face it, Fran. You failed. Maybe you could have been somebody once upon a time, but that was a good 10,000 Frogerts and a Malawan laser ago. You have got nothing. No. I'm sorry, that was too generous. You are nothing. No reason we have to get murderous today. Sure there is. It'd be fun. Now. Die quick. I'm hungry. That's a shame. You've come an awful long way just to die on an empty stomach. Now, you just stay here, and you think about your behavior. Me! <laughs> Here's hoping for a hundred, eh? You hush, or I'll break you into cubes and serve you in lemonade. Coming, dear! What am I gonna do now? Where am I gonna go? I mean, we're in space. I live here. What's Octavio gonna say? The way we left things. <sighs> I know this can work. I just need more time and someone with enough vision to see its potential. <sighs> oh, hey, Anu. No big deal or anything, but can you come back to the lab real quick? Like, really, really quick? Like, before you get killed? Killed? <laughs> That's a little dramatic, Fong. I got fired. It's a setback, sure, but not a death sentence. What? You got fired? Yikes and a half. That sucks. Wait, does that mean I'm fired too? You know what? Forget it. Not even on my list of things to stress about right now. We are in the middle of a TDR invasion with 
dudes in body armor and guns of an admittedly lower quality than Atlas's, the whole shebang. So, let's go. An invasion by a rival weapons manufacturer. And I'm fired. And it's not even lunch. On the upside, the vet sent an echo. Your pet fish is doing great. Oh. Wait. I misread. It's, uh, dead. Sorry. It's okay. The words look similar. Yeah, so remember when Malawan tried to stage a hostile force takeover of Atlas back on Promethea? Of course, I'm from Promethea. It was devastating for Atlas, and they blew up Strong Fork's favorite Frogurt place or something. No, yeah, actually, my brother works there. Well, I guess TDR smelt blood in the water and decided it's their turn to take a stab at Atlas because they are a hundo P boarding this facility right now, and it is hostile. Like, very, very hostile. How do you know all this? Oh. Employees of Atlas, let's all give our surprise guests from TDR a warm welcome and show them what makes Atlas the company it is. And by warm welcome, I of course mean show them everything we've been working on lately at close range. Let's be elsewhere fast. <laughs> he felt weird. Oh, crap. Hide, hide, hide. If you were keeping an active vault key somewhere on your space station, where would you hide it? Boss lady said it's in his office, so that's where we're going. I just don't underestimate this guy, all right? Affirmative. I heard he ripped his own eyeball out. It's kind of crazy you don't mess with. Gentlemen, lovely to see you. I'd offer you a beverage, but my assistant Timmy was recently teleported to God knows where. Grace Strongfort. We are here for the vault key and or your bloodied corpse. Hey, fellas, come on. Come in. Have a seat. Say, would either of you be interested in a career change? We've got some killer benefits. Could I get a cocktail? Fired during a hostile takeover? Yeesh! Bet you can kiss your severance package goodbye. Oh no. I've got it right here. That door wasn't broken the last time I came through it. That's the thing about hostile takeovers. They're hostile. You smell like guilt and shame. Can your mommy bring a pack of lunch? Resistance is highly frowned upon. What frowning? <laughs> We're frowning. Looks like we're not the only ones being invaded. They're headed down to Promethea, too. Didn't you say your brother was down there? He's a survivor, right? I'm sure he'll be okay. Octavio. Uh, uh, yeah, he, um, he's... I mean, you both came out of that Malawan ordeal okay, yeah? He's caring, but also careless, if that makes sense. I think I follow. He's young enough to think he can do anything, and old enough to get into a lot of serious trouble because of it. I have to get down there and find him. He needs me. Well, hear me out. Maybe you let your brother save his own life while you save yours. You don't have a brother, do you? Only child. But I always imagine it'd be like having a pet, but dirtier? There isn't a life for me with Atlas. And there isn't a life worth living if it doesn't include Octavio in it. So I'm getting off of this tin can, one way or another. Well, there's only one way. And it's with a launch pod. Follow me. Hope your health is covered, everyone. You'd find out if you could land a hit. I'm trying. Don't be mean. Hope! Hope! Covering fire! Oh 
am I going to get into a launch pod without being noticed? By asking me to cause one hell of a distraction. You'd do that for me? Sure. You may not have noticed with your head buried in your research, but we're friends. This is what friends do. And besides, causing a scene, that's something at which I excel. Fong, thank you. Yeah, don't mention it. Seriously, I have a reputation to uphold. You be careful out there, all right? You too, please. Oh, and hey, take this from me. I don't want these TDR bastards getting their hands on my lucky vault lander. It'll be safer with you. Is this... you? Yeah, I won it in a stupid contest or whatever. No big deal. It's just like the only one in existence. Super rare and wasted on someone who doesn't play. But whatever, just get out of here before I change my mind. Fong, thanks again. Right. So I'm headed back that way. You go this way. There's a launch pod ahead. Make sure you get yourself in it. Hey, Tidior! I hear you're looking for a vault key. I know exactly where Strong Fork put it. Oh, quick question, though. Are any of you allergic to jabbers? I'm sorry, I'm about to profit off your violent end. Hold on, Octavio. I'm coming. I find eating to be both barbarous and disgusting. I will wait there and dispense expired motor fluids. I'm gonna go talk to Radon. Haven't seen that crazy son of a bitch in a while.
Are you playing one of those insipid interactive narrative video games? No. This is my Echodex 4520, parabolic homing origin netwave emitter, also known as Pahone. What does a Pahone do? Everything! It's so much better than the standard Echodex. I can communicate with my pals, take and scan images, play executable programs, watch the big game. What is the big game? Which everyone is on. Anyway, the best thing about this baby is I had a jailbroken. Forget about your standard Econet, I'm coasting through the shadows. With these black market executables, I can gather all kinds of information about people without them noticing. Who is them? You know, corporations, man. Gatekeeper, suits, the squares. Those chumps can't box me in. I'm a disruptive entrepreneur. I use every competitive edge I can get. Sounds complicated. I prefer the simple life of learning someone's name and then murdering them. If you're to have me socialize here, I suggest you do me a simple courtesy. Perform secret background bounty checks on all your friends, so I don't reflexively fire two ion slugs into their brains. Even Diamond Danielle might have aliases with bounties. It's still the same brain when I fire slugs into it. yet and you uh, have uh, an aroma musk I have a musk I suppose a sniper turned thief would want to stay off grid. Wait, what's this? Another alias? Ten Pin Patty. She goes bowling under that name. Hmm, didn't see that coming. Outstanding bounties. None! Whew! <laughs> but she's been caught smelling used bowling shoes. Oh, really didn't see that coming. Dude spot so many bombs. So many bombs. Hey, it looks like he also bought a piano. That's cool. Uh, no, it's a bomb shaped like a piano. Mm hmm. Paco posted a photo of himself with his ratches. They look cozy. Very cozy. Uh, I'm not sure this is 100% legal.
You've reached Danielle Zacomel. Please leave your name and message, and when I have a moment, I will track you down and shoot you. Thanks. That's cold, Danny. Real cold. Just answer! Has anyone ever told you how much of a dweebus you are? Not in the last 30 seconds. Radon, my guy, was that? What? No, don't insult me. I use the DX6500. The DX6500 makes this boom. The other bombs make this boom. You hear the difference? Totally very distinct difference. With the money from Louis, I could buy some sweet threads here. Got a dress for success. This city has really been through it. That, or Raiden was testing out a new explosive? Hard to say. Who's engineering schematics? I feel like I'm looking at him naked. You are. Ugh. Get over here, man. I need your help. You sure I can't get you a taco? No. Hey, amigo, listen. You haven't seen Juniper around, have you? Sup, Paco? Juniper as in your prized microbreed ratch? Juniper as the light of my life? The beat of my heart? The joy of my days? So, the ratch, right? Yes, man. She was here two minutes ago. Then Raiden scared it off with its usual antics. <sighs> Look, I cannot leave the cart. Be a ball and find it for me, please. What I'm hearing is find Juniper and I'll give you a free talk. Just bring her back to me. Hey, that wasn't a no. One Juniper coming up. She's a sweetie. Ratches are the galaxy's gift to Promethea. They're scrappy and disgusting. Hey! Can I like you, fool?
What about a burrito? No. Juniper, you in there, girl? That's a solid maybe. But how am I gonna get you out of there? computer walk into a bar. Space Rabbi says, tell me a joke. Infinite Recursion Computer says, okay. A Space Rabbi and an Infinite Recursion Computer walk in... Sounds like this could be important. Would be great to fix this and get the latest news from the business world. Hey, guys and gals. Wouldn't happen to know where Juniper ran off to, would you? Careful, man. You gotta be an alpha to earn their respect. And while well, you... Whatever! I'm an alpha. And this alpha is gonna go look for Juniper somewhere else. If you wanted discretion, you shouldn't have hired an explosive expert. I hate to disturb a business call, but... Hold, please. This better be good. Oh, it is. I need your talents to help me free Paco's ratch. She's trapped behind a wall. And this ratch is my problem, why? Well, it isn't. But you get to explode things. And Paco will owe you one. Free tacos? Free tacos. Point to the problem. Thanks, <laughs> Radon. Hello? Hello? Right. As I was saying, when you hire Radon, you better expect a spectacle. One juniper, as promised. Oh, how the cutest little rat that ever was. Yes, it's my juniper, mi amor. 
Thanks, Ak. Oh, you want to see? One taco, yeah. Uh, 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 hey, is that the new foreign model, right? That thing's a real deal. You got the jail broken, right? I got some executables that will knock your socks off. The first one is called Vaultlander Finder. That one helps you find Vaultlanders. <laughs> You're a smart tamale. The other is called Financial Organizer 2000. Well, that one organizes your finances. No, it hacks electronics. They just picked a crappy name. Try it out on the radio. Dale. Pot. <laughs> this is one sweet executable. A ten-year-old armada has been spotted in the skies above Meridian City. We are being invaded. This isn't business news. Again, Atlas troops are already mobilizing in defense. Citizen militias are defending alongside them. I repeat, a TDR invasion. That does not sound good. No, it definitely does not. We'll fight him off. I won't let another corporate army take over my city. Yeah, we like the corporate army that's already here. Welcome to Franz Frogert's. How can I help? You? Do my eyes deceive me, or is that Reba Fulfolia? Fran, oh my gosh. How long has it been? What brings you here? Oh, silly me. I'm here to assess the damage. I saw F. Miskowitz on the claim, but I naturally assumed you'd pass this place on to your kid or something. No, uh, unless you count Octavio. No, no kids. Or your husband, maybe. Nope. No. <sighs> just me, Reba. So you're still running your parents' Frogert store, just like back in school. That is a... Adorable. You? You look good. Right? I just got a promotion at the firm, and it came with quasi-mandatory plascrete surgery. I feel like a teenager again. Which is so appropriate, given where we are. <laughs> Gosh, you look just like I remember. Still the same exact Fran. Uh, thanks? <laughs> oh my god, you're so funny. And oh my gosh, guess what? Remember that girl you had a crush on back in school? We got married, right? <laughs> anyway, I don't think I've seen you since you activated that crazy mode on your hover chair. That was nuts. I do not use that mode anymore. So, my claim. Oh, sure. <laughs> no more gossiping, Reba. Work time. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yes, please show me the damage.
This is where the laser beam finally dissipated. It doesn't look that bad. Nothing a coat of paint wouldn't fix. Yeah, if only I had some money from an insurance claim. Oh, so I could buy some. Noted. See this? I call it the Malawan Skylight. This is where the Malawan laser beam cleaved right through the ceiling. Hmm, the claim says the hole is 5.2 meters long, but it looks like it's only about 4.9. Does that matter? Everything matters. There was a bit of damage behind the counter here. The laser hit those two? Nah, that's just shoddy, TDR workmanship. Knew I should have bought Hyperion, but I didn't want to support Handsome Jack. Oh, you're one of those. Thankfully, I've been able to repurpose the basement as extra freezer space. Without it, I would have lost so much stock. Great! I love it when people show me all the damage that didn't occur. That's always super useful when assessing a claim. A lot of debris fell when the laser hit. I've left it in place so you can see it. What a delightful justification for laziness. Aren't you a clever one? Oh, what's that? Oh, it's one of those silly little vault landers toys. How kitschy. on the house. This is dairy-free. What's a dairy-free? Anything else you want to show me? No, I think that about does it. Well, that just about covers the front of the shop. Let's see that back room. I've pretty much seen everything I need already. I just gotta cross those T's and dot those bullet holes. I, I don't think you want to do that, Reeb. There's an infestation back there. Of what? All kinds of nasty things. Jabbers. Ratches. Aw, I like ratches. Poor people. Ew. Best just leave it be. You might be right, but I'd be derelict in my duty if I didn't check it out, just to make extra 100% sure I've seen all the possible damage. Um, wait a minute. Fran, your weirdness was cute at first, but now I'm remembering why we never invited you to stuff. 
Let. Go. This is gonna be awkward. Oh, I'm gonna kill you. He was trying to murder me. Hence the ice picks, I presume. And you froze him? Yeah. Francine Miskowitz, your insurance claim has been approved. Really? I thought you'd be, uh, I don't know, upset. He was trying to kill you. Frankly, I'm impressed you had the stomach to stand up for yourself. <laughs> it almost makes me wonder if I should have been nicer to you in school. <laughs> nah. Enjoy your money. If you're gonna freeze any more creeps, let me know. I want to watch next time. Uh, will do. must approach this with level heads. We can't let these bastards take our streets. Not on our watch! Octavio is nearly correct. While your watches have nothing to do with it, your survival depends on taking offensive action. Sounds good to me. I'm gonna take the high ground. Mouthy weapon might prove useful. Read my mind. So 
So far, this weapon is not useful. How dare you! I am an official TDR weapon designed for TDR personnel only! You can't manhandle me with your filthy corporate and approved paws! You have no standing with TDR! And you smell like you're poor! Ow! Is that a good enough reason? You're making a big mistake, bucko! Laying down the law. I like this, Octavio. Insurgents near the taco shop, closing on primary suspect. That functioning TDO comms device could prove useful. And he's not using it anymore. It's not stealing if he's already dead. Truly a model of human decency. Much. Nice try, journalism hater! Hey! It's the fourth estate! You can grab my handle, but you'll never take my freedom! You're a real piece of work, gun guy. Seems extremely personal. All right, enough for this. I think we should be safe here. I have ascertained that you are legally positioned within TDR invasion jurisdiction. Pursuant to protocol, I am justified to pacify the situation by terminating your life. The situation is about to become kinetic. Do you have any last words? Do not resist or risk escalating the situation. I love the law. And we at TDR thank you for your cooperation. I will not de-escalate the situation by ending your life. Wait, wait. At least tell me your name. I deserve to know the name of the man that kills me. Oh, it's Hubert Hot Dog. My friends all call me. You just got L0U13. Hubert Hot Dog. Assault, planting evidence, and Grand Theft Tanko. There was a contract on him. Yippee! It's not safe here. We should find somewhere to lie low. In my experience, human soldiers do not take kindly to those who kill their commanders. It was Danielle who sniped the commander, not me. Whatever the case, you're probably wanted. I say probably because I do not want to check and shoot you. You're a real pal. We should go to France to lie low. And risk bringing Tedior to her doorstep. Relax, we got the comms device, right? We'll hear him coming a mile away. Plus, Fran takes everything in stride. She's a super chill comm.
With the way today has gone so far, this seems about right. Just get it over with already! What? Smooch! Safety first! <laughs> to run! Friends! Really? I always knew the so-called cycles of this planet merely needed time to develop their own cultural norms. <laughs> so Pleased to meet you. What? I'm... Ah! 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 Mistake! Mistake! A mistake is happening! Eat my head. Ah! Spin the D! Excuse me. Mistake! Ah! Oh! <laughs> Stuck the little hair. <laughs> Tell them I'll spin the teeth. Whatever they want. I didn't mean to offend. Let's tell them we're running. <laughs> what do we do? Run. You say so? What? No! Never mind. Just toss it here. <laughs> Got it. Hands and eyes coordinated! <laughs> you are so super stressed. I think you could use a vacation. Siren? Scientist. Again! Again! Pretty girl, pretty kill. I'm not the killer. I'm just sending them on a little trip. My name is Anu. <sighs> Thank you. No! Anu saved us! What are you talking about? Anu did a hero bludgeon! In what way exactly am I a hero? I just killed someone. Doesn't that make me a murderer? But 
potatoes, potatoes! You mean potato, potato? Potatoes! No! To Staple Face, you are Hero Girl! Who's Staple Face? Of course. Today was Staple Face's death day. Death day? Punishment for bad thoughts. Thought about becoming not psycho. Oh, is being a psycho something you can quit? Not without a death day. Ah, oh, got it, I think. But Anu helped! No more death day! Free born day! Happy reborn day to me! Happy reborn day to me! I, um... I have this, uh, small rock. I think it somehow rolled into my pocket during the fight. Happy Reborn Day! It's identical to all the rocks currently at your feet. It's nothing, really. Thank you with my body! So nice! Wow! Oh. Thanks. I'd like to get down now, please. Thanks for that. Well, Staple Face, this has been a revelation, but I should really get going. Where? To find my brother, Octavio. He works at a frozen yogurt shop in Meridian City. I have to see him. It's actually really urgent, and I've already lost so much time. I hope your feet are fast! Not ideal. Of course, nothing about this day has been ideal. Stapleface, it's been unique. I hope our paths cross again someday. Yes! At an intersection! I'm back, by popular demand. You're late. I have a really good excuse this time. Uh, so, first thing, this is my friend Louis. I am known formally as L0U13. It is customary to respond to an introduction. Please, state your name, for the record. Hiya. Assassin? Correct. It's not what you think. But you're okay? The Tedior Invasion Force hasn't made it out here yet? For Flip's sake! Another corp invasion? You haven't heard? I had my own stuff going on. What kind of... Octavio, moment of your time. The killbot can wait up front. Friend, just so you know, he was programmed to be an assassination bot. He doesn't like killing. I mean, obviously. Who likes killing? <laughs> he asked for a lifetime supply again. Right before trying to kill me. And you let him live? Maybe recovery is working. 
We'll see. Well, clearly you have nothing to worry about from Louis. At least he's programmed to mess people up. What are you doing hanging out with troublemaking assassin bots like that anyway? I taught you better than that. Oh, stop acting like you're my mom. Oh, I am not your mom. What's the damage? Streets are cleared. Commander's dead. Killed by some street punks. Any positive IDs? Affirmative. No whereabouts. Uh, Franz Frogerts. Oh. The one with the negative 3.5 yell rating. Yeech. All right now. Mind telling me what that's about? Uh, well, when TDR showed up and started shooting, we kind of shot back. I think they might have sort of tracked us here. We'll commandeer as many free samples as possible before eradicating target. Hug. I'm fine. No, you're not. No, I'm not. Come here. They're gonna kill me! Look, I'm sorry about this, but I need your help. When those troops get here, I need you to cover for me. For the love of the almighty robot police, man, you know what happens when they don't believe me, right? I know, it's too much to ask, but I've got nowhere else to go, and... Stop. Look. Just make sure he stays quiet. Of course. No problem. I can't thank you enough. Thank me if I get out of this without a new set of holes in my head. On your knees! Get on your knees! No. The boy in the bot, where are they? Bot sighted! Hello. On your knees! Yes. Rebel apprehended! Well done, you're really, really good at this. Oh, thank you. Love you. I love you too. What? Where's the boy? Where's the boy? Respond! What boy? That boy. Ah, him. I fired him a week ago. What? Incompetence. That sounds like a management problem. Maybe you didn't give him the tools he needed to succeed. Had you gone over a personal development plan with him? Prepare to fire! Preparing! Tell you what, you better get a kill shot because bullet wounds make me real angry. Fire it! You are about to execute a to your licensee and subsequently impact quarterly profits. Stand down. What? Perfroyo machines. They're TDR brand. We can't kill her or she'll stop paying the licensing fee. Come on! Ah! Uh, what are you two idiots doing? Hold fire! It's the... Oh. Explain yourselves. Chairwoman Coldwell! Ma'am, we were pursuing a rebel, but he's being housed by this woman, and we wanted to shoot her! But she's a TDR licensee, and now our guns will fire and... Oh, damn licensee loophole. I will have the gunsmith fix that before the next invasion. So, uh, we should just let her go? For God's sakes, use your imagination! If you can't shoot her, bring that disgusting parody of a frozen yogurt stand down on their heads. Let the rubble kill them. I swear... I should have trusted this invasion to General Stanwyck. Let him deal with you idiots. Hold on a second. We're both business women. We can work this out. I mean, you don't need to trash my place. <laughs> I don't deal with little people. Huh? The hell's that supposed to mean? Oh, dear. Soldier? Bring me closer. Frozen yogurt. Huh. That's when you use milk instead of cream, yes? Never was much for it. Just seemed objectively worse than ice cream. Beneath it, almost. Well, some people might say that's a matter of opinion. But you and I, 
No, that's not true. Hmm? Some things are just better than others. Some people are just better than others. <laughs> On any planet in any galaxy, the cream rises to the top. And that's why I'm here and you're there. Soldiers, bring this place down already. Yes, ma'am. Bad things happen to everyone. Getting fired by your boss during a planetary invasion is bad. Starting a street war with that planetary invader